Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and should work in Scotland. Should you stick to brand new items? Let's... <laughs> Everything's happening at once here. Now, I don't normally go live on a Tuesday night, so I've no idea if anyone will come and join me. Oh, well, I have put notices out in. Oh, my groups and here's Hazel. Thank you for joining me. I'm not completely on my own. Thank you. And you come and get a wee seat by the fire. The sun's starting to go lower now and it's getting a bit chilly. So put the fire on so you can all cosy up. Hi, Randy, and you come. Yeah. Nice to see you. I'm feeling good because I've been out in the sunshine today. <laughs> so I just wanted to pick up kind of where I left off on Sunday. Okay, so on Sunday we made what we were playing with these masks or stencils, whatever you want to call them. This stamp set, layers of beauty. And today I'm going to do a bit of cutting with the dies of the work. Hi Alice, and you come. Uh, so remember we did what we did was we I've cut up these and up a wee bit. So we did this one with the black light stamp line with memento and that blue and gorgeous grey that's both no it's bammy blue I used and I love the bits where it kind of blended I just think it just looks really natural I totally love that um, then we did one without the black line without the black line and <laughs> I'll tell you a story we did this one with spritz in through the, the stencils and I love the watery colour and I did it on watercolour paper for that reason. I love what I did but I decided that the background was a bit boring and I would spritz it but this one <laughs> was lying on my desk so it kind of got spritzed up in this corner so I thought well I might as well spritz it and I quite like the backgrounds that this these have got. So as I say I'm not sure about cards but then I was playing and I've got something to show you. I'll probably show you afterwards what I did. But I've pulled, this time I'm feeling that it needs a bit of something in the background. So I've cut a 12 and a half centimetre square from the new paper, what is it called? And I'm working with, this time with basically beige, the new colour. Hey Amanda, hey Nessa, and you come. Nothing, I've just started. If you haven't seen Sunday's live, you might want to go back and watch that later on after this. But uh, So this is called Country Lace and it's got basic beige, misty moonlight, petal pink and smoky sleep and it's a very handy paper. So, so look, there's the misty moonlight. It's got a very denim -y look about it there. So it's got, kind of got a linen-y feel. And then this, these be lacy. There's the pe that was the petrol pink. Look, that just looks denim there. So yeah, we'll, we will work further with this paper at another time. But I've cut myself a piece of that's basic beige and a card base that's basic beige. I think I will need something to frame that, but for the moment, that's what I've got to play with. Oh, we thumbs ups are good, guys. I let YouTube know that it was good to share me out to other people. So if you know if you've got anyone that you think might like to see a bit of crafting, then you could share this. You can share it to Pinterest if you want to. Right, so I have got to do a bit more cleaning on this. Um really you need to get these wet right away. I am using some embossing paste. Um, yeah, so let's just think about what I'm doing here. Just wait with, just kind of be patient with me. Is that what it's like? <laughs> I'm just thinking, uh, yeah. So I'm going to pop these aside so I don't spoil them. But can you just remember the dies are in front of me? They might have other things, but if I ask you where my dies are, tell me right in front at eye level in front of me. Right, so I need 
shimmery embossing paste and a hat yeah I've not got anything out that I, I just thought I want to go live let's go live I bring out the brushes I used the other day because I'm just going to stick with the same colours so that would be gorgeous grape and old olive it's just so that you can see on the different with different mediums and things but with the same colours it gives you a chance have you never tried the stencil thank you brandy you're great at sharing stuff out right i am going to i did show you how to use these stencils in order on sunday take this just now i am going to use the leaves first do the leaves first and you'll see you'll possibly see why I'm going to do this one first. So it will be a bit of a jiggery pokery to get all of this onto the shape I've cut. Right, so that fits on like that. So I'm going to use my pencil. And then get some of my heavy doodle paper tape because it's just good for stuff like this. Very low tack tape. In fact, I've had this so long, I think actually it's even lower tack than it started out. Right, so I'm just making sure that all of that is covered on there. Have you not, Hazel? You must get one of these sets, either the Layers of Beauty or the Enduring Beauty. But when you see this, honestly, it is so beautiful. And you, I just used that pencil notch. I just penciled that notch in so then I can match the rest up. I think I'll just do a bit of a line there so that I know it fits in there. But the problem is my paper might move. That's my worry here. Let's see if we can anchor the paper underneath. Right. So I'm just going to use Old Olive. Are you all okay? Have I said hello to everybody? I think I have. I, I wasn't really sure if anyone would even be able to join me. As I say, it's not my usual time. So I am just using my brush and I'm just using gentle circular motions over the holes in the stencil. There are five here, whoops, see? That slipped a little bit, but do you know, it'll just all add to the interest. Right, so that is the first one. I'm just going to be careful about removing it. And I'm actually going to pop that underneath here as well, just so that the paper doesn't move. The, the stencil moving isn't really a biggie because it just it just adds a little extra <laughs> so I think you'll get the drift now that if you use that line to line up you'll find that goes over the top quite nicely Everyone okay? Did other people get to see some sunshine today? Yeah, I just have to be a bit gentle, I think. Especially the first one I'm going now. I'm just using the same colour again. You could change colours at this point. You could change which green you're using you could start with a lighter green and go up to a darker one but this just builds up 
the colour anyway. It's really easy peasy it's like whoops she says and she snooks it flying but you see that just adds a bit of dimension to the leaves so that's the leaves done and i can close the old olive oh you had some sunshine today as well i did it was so nice i went for a swim and it's so nice just getting to the end of the length of my swimming pool uh it's like windows on two wall well there are window walls basically so you can see out it's lovely I'm just having a cup of spicy tea here. <coughs> Did you all get something nice from the table? Now, I don't know where I've, I've got one of the palette knives out of this set. I've lost it already. Well, I've not lost it because I know I washed it on Sunday and I brought it through here, but I don't know where I put it when I brought it back. But we've got three. Also, I've got other palette knives because I used to oil paint. So I've got loads of stuff like that. Right. You can buy a set of three palette knives from Stampin' Up. I'm not sure if this is the one I want or if I want this one. It's not really the one I want, but the one I want is going to look about. Go just, we don't need a lot, but what I'm going to do is get... What? Will it be number one I need this time and then so I need one and then two and then three so I'm matching up the notch ish I'm all about ish you know, perfection is overrated. That should be nicely. And because I'm going to use the paste and I might be putting a bit more pressure on, I'm going to pop a bit of tape down here. I love this tape. Right, I need to ask something up to do so we'll tack tape. So as long as you keep popping this away when you're done you only need a tea in fact that's probably much more than i need i'll put some back i'll put that one there because i'm going to use a, this is kind of going to have some gorgeous grape on it anyway of course this is on the wrong side of the palette knife but now i go hopefully this will be enough so this is the sparkly one. I think I've got, yeah, so just kind of scrape it over where the holes are. I actually do need a little bit more, I think. Now the, the print on the paper will shine through a bit, but I'm okay with that. It's just, so I'm just using this to, whoops, smooth over. And then just take the excess away, pop it back in the tub. You'll see in a moment, you'll see in a moment. It just gives it all texture. So that is then, um, I'm going to take the stencil off now, but still be careful not to move my paper. And you'll see already that is, you can see that. I'm just going to pop this in the bathroom sink to keep it wet and the tool so that um, it'll clean off when we're finished. Just talk amongst yourselves for one minute.
if I just let that air dry, I will. Um... So can you see the sparkle and the texture here? I don't want to lift it up because I'm going to go on in here with some gorgeous scrape. I'm just going to give that a wee bit of a... I just want it to dry, but I can't move it, if you know what I mean. Um, I wonder... Yeah, I'm going to go up and see if I can get it in closer for you to have a look while it's drying off. I ha what I can do is move this whole pad in a minute, actually. I just want it to be a bit drier before I, um, I think I'll just take the heat tool to it. Get on high and you come, get a seat by the fire and help yourself to something from the table. I'm going to set this aside and I cut some of the other images that we made on Sunday. You never know what's lurking under my pad. <laughs> I don't know what I've been working on but I'm thinking let's die cut these images I don't know if I want to might just layer that one up onto a card but we could die cut these hopefully we'll end up with a card tonight So this die set has a die that cuts out that whole image because that would take a bit of very patient fussy cutting I think. See if I'm able to line this up. doesn't feel right, does it? That's it now. Sometimes that's better. Right, I went and threw some of that tape out. I could do with a bit more. But I'll be going back to that image to to brighten it up with a bit of more colour from the one that I've just done with the embossing paste. But we'll just see if we can line this up first. This is a, you just have to take your time. It doesn't always come right away. There we go. I'll just use a bit of this to stop it moving when we're cutting. treated myself to a new plate so fairly guaranteed that I'll muck that up oops yeah I've gone a bit squint but look at one end and a bit squint at the other but I'm sure it will be fine It's not perfect, but as I keep telling you, perfect is overrated. Right, now, if I'm doing that on white, I'm thinking I want to bring in this new embossing folder as well, because I can. I think it just needs a bit of texture going on as well. So let's just find a piece of 
white I think I'll just go will I go with white or do we go with the paint is ticking here it's ticking hard It's pretty and I really enjoyed playing with it on Sunday night so I did want to, do you know what I need to um, go out a wee bit don't I? The paste doesn't take too long to dry, maybe five or ten minutes. I'm not showing you the fact that I just folded this in half and tore it. I'm going to be so I absolutely love this new folder and I just want to do a bit of inkiness on it first because why well, would I do something in a simple way if I can make it more complicated you might want to go in with your craft knife and cut out some of that but I'm not going to get too precious about it it's just so pretty isn't it do we just do basically on white with texture for this one make it a real clean card I wanted to get inky but do you know what let's just not over complicate things right so I need this. So it's a 3D folder. So all I need is base plate one, then put my folder in with the paper in it, well, my basic white card, and then plate four. I'm just going to pop them through. Hi Linda, in you come, get a wee seat by the fire. Cos cosy up with everybody. Get a wee drink from the table. Now I have got, did have, ready for the car of making. Some white layers things. Yeah, I have, I think. Yeah. <laughs> See, by the bell, I've got that. I always have this at the ready, but I didn't know where I've tidied up. Is that not scary? I've got a lot of things ready to go to the charity shop. Yeah, wait till you see the texture coming off this. What do you think of that? Isn't that gorgeous? I've already made a card with this but it's for a colour challenge so it won't be out for a while. See that just adds something in the background so let's just get the trigger. Let's just cut ourselves a layer. And keep all the extra bits. Oops! You shouldn't do that with your trimmer, you should keep it flat. So, a white card base, 
it feels a bit need to be trimmed and around that. Let's glue this down and then we'll see. Yeah, the circle dies will be fun with this. Yeah. Hi. Um, <laughs> it's just so. <laughs> Hi, Verity. My brain went. I thought somebody said Inky Butterfly was using, and then I realised it was you that was speaking. Hi, Ver Verity. Right. So I'm just popping this down. So I say I've already done a, a an inky card with this. I think that will just go on there, like with um, dimensionals, and then what else would you need in there? Maybe a bit of linen thread or something. Yeah, and you come, Mrs. Have a seat by the fire and you finished working for the day. Let's pop this on. I think once we've done this, I haven't thought about a sentiment, but there is a lovely wee dye there. Well, these are kind of a work in progress, but I want to go back to the one with the, what's it called? The shimmery embossing paste. Right, that, I think that might be enough. The roses, I act, I, I genuinely do like this one better than the other one, which is beautiful. It wowed me when I first got it, but I like the detail in these roses. But I think they're both beautiful. Right. I'm just going to pop this kind of like that. And I do have something, just something very, very simple, she says. And she thinks of linen thread and she goes in her drawer and there's one there. Yeah, there is. It's just turned upside down. See, I tidied up. I put all my bits of linen thread in one place and then of course they were up that way and I thought I hadn't any. That one's not going to start. I think that one's out of a kit or something. Even with linen thread I need my very sophisticated bow maker here. Because well I just, I just do. So what I'll do is just wrap this round a few times and then you just cross that over, oops, put it, oh come, go through, take that, it's supposed to be easy until I show you, it's easy when someone else shows you. I've got wee sausage fingers and they just can't deal with these sort of things very well. But we get there, we get there. And the next thing I need is a glue dot and just a bit of over there. Because I didn't know what I was going to do. I've got two rows of glue dots and none of them are Weird. Weird, 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 weird. Well, it's just, it, it, it'll appear in a minute. To display them out a wee bit. Maybe need to cut that, don't we? I just wrapped it around four or five times. And... Who stole the glue dot? 
to stall the food out. Tidy enough. There's the worst thing you can do in a craft room. It really is. Hey Carol, hey Judy, in you come. Got me seat by the fire. Not really sure what I'm doing today. It's as much a mystery to me as it is to you. I'm just doing a wee bit of tape runner on there because I don't know where my glue dots are. Pop that there and I think the next time I've got the die cutter I'm going to cut one of the wee tags and we'll just have a wee simple. I think that needs nothing much else. What do you think? Or maybe a pearl or something like that. We'll have a look at that at the end. I'm just putting these adhesives in the drawer so that I know where they are and I need to make a wee space again. So this all just evolved. As I say, it was after I finished on Sunday that I started playing the playing bossing face. Right, I'll bring this back in. And it's trying to lift a wee bit, but I'm pretty sure it's not dry, but I think it's dry enough. To just add a bit of sparkle on here. So does anybody know where to put the rest of the stencils? There they are. So let's just, this is stencil number two. So that it's just going to light on top. Now it is a bit bumpfully because the paper is just still a bit damp. And ideally, you know, if you're crafting on your own, you would just go and leave that for a while. I just want, don't want that to move. Right, so I've got my brush. Do you know where my gorgeous great ink is? I found it. I knew where it was. Right, so again, load the brush up with your colour. And I'm going to be, I don't want to pull it because it isn't properly dry, so I'm just going to just add this as gently as I can. And even stipple it actually would probably be. So normally I do motions like that when I'm on paper, but I'm thinking for this, if I stipple it, as you would if you were stenciling on a wall, you would normally just stipple through a different kind of brush, but this will get, it, get, you get the drift. And this is going on top of the paste. doesn't want to. These are just teeny weeny bits. Right now carefully removing the stencil but not moving the paper. I just think that bit tape was big enough. <laughs> and then the final stencil number three remembering that we did four and five to start us off because we wanted to do the leaves first and again just using the same color but just yeah, just deepening it up So I hope this just gives you some more ideas of what you can do.
Just trying to make this one much darker. Right, we'll just go with that. So we'll close this up. Are you all okay? Sometimes I get that engrossed in what I'm doing, I forget you're there because you're so quiet. I'll take this off and then I'll lift it up to the camera to let you see a bit closer. Does the shimmery paste that gives it some? So this is what I did on Sunday when I was playing on my own. I did it on crumb cake. And I didn't get quite as deep a colour in there. So I don't know. I felt this square was a bit big, but yeah, I'm happy with that. So um, yeah, we'll let this dry a bit longer before we mount it onto a card, but I have cut somewhere a, <laughs> a basic beige card base. I did, didn't I? I showed you at the beginning. I don't know if it needs much. I might just do a bit of, do you know what? I might just be a bit messy. I just just gently not that gentle is really in my repertoire here but just give it a bit of a purpley edge here this even could be okay i think this would even be quite a good image for a bit of shabby chic actually a bit of distressing Do you think? Do you think that's a bit shabby? <laughs> Not too shabby. Yeah, the, the basic bead just quite nice. I'm actually thinking I just need a bit more definition at the edge, so I'm just taking my pad. just attach it to the basic beige do you think there's something quite pretty about it this one that I did on Sunday I actually I thought it was a wee bit boring so I don't know if I want to It's the background that to me is just a little bit boring, but I don't... Do you know what? I might just get a sentiment in here or... Could even put some butterflies or something that would actually take the board away. Right, let's just stick this together because I'm going to end up with just piles of bits and no cards. Just, this set has got so many possibilities, so many possibilities. And in the die set, there's extra leaves, there's, as I say, there's the tag, there's loads more. I'm just keeping it relatively simple. I 
I just didn't want to move on to something else without finishing off all these bits that were lying on my desk. Cool. That's actually quite good, doesn't it? Just having a think here. I'm thinking a thunk here. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Is there room for the happy anniversary there? Maybe not. But it would fit there, look. This is the way I go. It just like, I can't, I know what, I should have done this before I put it on there, but I haven't. Right, where's my old olive ink pad? Here it is to your right hand side. And you can do embossing, you can do all sorts, but sometimes I don't want to take away from the sparkle there, really. If I mess it up, I mess it up. It's only a bit of paper. I think that's fine. And do you know what? Brass butterflies, what do you think? Very good. Butterflies, butterflies, where are you? I mean, I do have these. I've got all sorts still in here. Purple fine gems. Little contender. But this needs, this hasn't been cleaned out yet. I need to move out the things that are not staying with us. But sure, well, I've certainly got the birdies. But look, these guys are the, they're the thing, aren't they? I wouldn't like to think how many packs of these I've had. A few. A few, a few, a few. All right, just push your bookie tool. Is that your way to run in, honey? No way. Take care. Okay. Enjoy. What do you funk? Is anybody there? Do I need to stop with that one? I think I do. Right, that's that one. Ah, purple gems on here. And then we'll go, look at this, everything getting stuck. I'll put the card around the way it goes, Janice. There's no um, sentiment on this just now. I think I might, I might keep this for my sister's birthday. <laughs> what do you think? I nearly ended up with an even number there. We can't be having that, can we? Right, we'll just stop there. That's two cards done. And then we've got this one. Again, I think I'll just trim this one down and see what just give it a layer. I do like that with all the... So I'll just wrap a bit off here. Wap, that's a ter technical term, wrap a bit off there. 
<laughs> I'm sure you've heard it before. Okay, and then I want to get this down to 9.7. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that, but we'll do our best. Right. Obviously going to have to cut something off, but I like the wee tendril there as well. Have you noticed that? Actually, that's going to be okay. I'm not going to be losing too much here. I like that. I don't know what to layer that in through. What a case of what have I got here? What do we have? I'm bashing on with these because I want to get to the other sparkly one. It's starting to dry. I don't know if you like what you're seeing now, ladies. Look at that. Right, I've lost my... Has to be that way. Do you think, I think that is fine just as is. Let's just glue this down as it is. Sometimes we overcomplicate everything. But I'll need a fair bit of glue because it was wet and it's watercolour paper and it's all rumpled up. Sometimes that's where an extra layer of card is handy. Um, actual fact, I think I will. Because I'm, I know from experience that that only bump up. And I know from experience that the two colours involved will work, that are already in the card will be fine for the layers. And I've still got to think about sentiments but I think they might I think that might be tomorrow's job <laughs> oops extra sure this is down and there was a bit of extra glue coming out of there so let's just just want it to be flat yay that help that does help it to dry flatter so what's ev how's everybody are you all well feel like I'm neglected because I'm just, I've just brought you in so you can watch me play. There will be inserts in these cards, but I want to kind of just get the cards sorted at the front first. Once you're confident it's lined up, you can turn over. 
You could even use your bone folder over there if you know where your bone folder is. That would be a good idea. Right, so I think we've got three cards so far and we've just got these two to do. So what did that one get trimmed down to? That's a, I've got a white card layer here. This is quite, oh that's something else it was playing with. Right. That's quite, I don't think you want to do very much else to that, do you? I just quite like it. It's quite vintage looking. Yeah, I'm still here, Kenzie. You got me today. You're not listening to your podcast today. See, I spritzed that be, um, partly by accident and then I thought, well, it's I either finish the job or I throw it in the bin. So <laughs> it's just with the leftover um, per, uh, gorgeous grape spritz that was left in the spritzer. on Sunday. You know, I think that was a happy accident because I rather like the background. Gives a pretty arty look, doesn't it? Just taking that minute to make sure everything is flat. Just makes the difference in the finished appearance of this. It's okay. It does need a sentiment. I think it'll get a tag and a wee bow or something in there, but possibly not tonight. Right, let's just hey Pauline, and you come. Just kind of making cards out of the stuff we did on Sunday, but I've done a bit of extra here. I've done this one. I'm, I'm quite in love with these, to be honest with you. So I had a base here. Now, I feel that that's, I just want to do a bit of tone on tone stamping on here. It's just... Oh, hi, Claire. Cheeky monkey crafts. I know it is tea time for lots of people. I'm just wondering whether to... Actually, the big stamp is out, so why not? I'm having a wee um, conversation with myself. I'm not sure you're party to it. Just There's an internal conversation going on here. And you're quite often only hearing part of it. <laughs> I'm just going to take a wee breath and finish my cup of tea. And then we'll finish this card off and I'll let you see them all. Uh, it's cold. Blech. I do remember the days when the children were little when cold tea was okay. But I've kind of recovered from that. So I'm just, I'm just guessing that I probably didn't clean this off properly the last time I used it. So I'll just give it a bit of a, yeah, it was so, yeah, I used to get, you kind of get used to it, but I'm not used to it. Now I'm thinking just to take the edge, the, the kind of, you know what I mean, the boring bit. You know what I mean. Unfortunately, that's not going to sh all show, but well, let's see. Actually, if I did that, Aye. 
All right, you ready? Let's see, we'll just pop this down. And I'll clean off that extra ink that I seem to get on there because I'm too much of a rush here. There were little stamps that I could have done the same thing with, but you know, if you can do it fast, do it fast. <laughs> that is beautiful, just tone on tone. Isn't that pretty? Right, let's close it before we make a mess. I might put this on squinty. Do you think? That is the basic beige, yeah. I'm rather enjoying it. Yeah, I'm just going to trim this down. I don't know. There's a bit of me thinks I want to stick that to a piece of card and then Dimensionalise it. Is that a word? Dimensionalise. Where is the other half of basic white? Um, no, I basic white that I ripped off. Remember, I ripped a piece in half. Here it is. I'm just going to put this. So cut a piece that's just like half a centimetre. Or half an inch, or quarter of an inch, or whatever less than that. It's just to give it a little bit more rigid, rigidity. Rigidity is that a word as well? I'm making up words now. It is a very neutral shade. It's a very useful one though. So as long as that is just a little bit smaller than your panel and it will just give it a bit of strength and then I can put it on with dimensionals. Now I had to somehow earlier and I used all the ones out in the middle and I thought for my next card I'll use up the edges. Here it is. I have got it. Right. That's making all the difference actually already. Okay, so have we got any snips? So has anyone else been crafting today? I've actually done. Oh, Kenzie, just because that is just a piece of designer series paper that I did the embossing on and it's still slightly damp and I, I want to put it up with dimensionals and I just felt like it would collapse a little bit and not just stay proud. Do you know what I mean? I'm just using these bits up. Probably overkill, but you know me. 
Yeah, so I did a bit of tidying up this morning. I sorted out some accounts, went for a swim, been to the farm shop, um, been out in the garden and done a few chores in the garden. And then I decided that I would come and talk to you guys and to see what I mean that is going to stay like that. I don't know what else is going on here. No, I didn't. I did stamp. I didn't stamp. It was, I've been using the, what do you call it? It's the stencils. And I did the, the layer that's got the big open bit of the flower. I did that with embossing paste, our sparkly embossing paste. So you'll see the, if I hold it up like that, you should see. So we've got two, one that I did that one, I did that on Sunday night when you weren't looking, but I've made it into a card today. But I showed you the process here. And then we've got these ones that we did. We made this on Sunday on my life. We stamped it with Memento. And then we used the, the layers and the stencils. I'm liking the addition of the linen on there. I do need a wee sentiment there. I will probably cut out the wee shape with the die and add some tags. So that's that one. Then this is the one that we did with the stencils and the inks and no line, no stamp line. And then by accident, I spritzed it afterwards, but that's okay. And then this one we did with the spritzer on watercolour paper through the stencils and then we stamped afterwards and yeah it's like very watercolory and very messy but that is kind of what I was looking for so there you go. Five cards finished tonight. Well they're not completely finished. Not completely finished. We've got sentiments and liners to go in. Hi Ruth, hope you're having a good day. So yeah, I, I'm going to hop off and get some tea. I've got some bacon and egg there that I'm going to have for tea. Bacon I got at the farm shop, etc. So look, there's this wee tag. So I'm, I might do some sentiments with that. And I'm probably going to add more brass butterflies because I'm liking what I see. So I am so glad that I bought this bundle. It really is great fun. I have still loads more to do and I've shown you the spotty embossing folder. As I say, there's loads of sentiments and a bit more sparkle in here. They're all different and yet they're all done with the same stuff. So yeah, so as I say, just sentiments to do, but I sometimes just quite like to have some cards on hand that I can add a sentiment when I know who they're for and what the purpose is. So I am going to... Oh, you're learning a new board game, Ruth. Okay. So... I'll just bring this down and then maybe you can see some of this. Oh, Caroline, and you come for five minutes. I am just about to say goodbye, but you're more than welcome. And you can watch the replay. Oops, it's not focusing very well, is it? I'm kind of happy with them. And I was happy to get a bit messy as well. Yeah, so there's so we've spritzed through the stencils, we've embossed paste through the stencils, and we've used our brushes. Yeah, so we've we've had good fun. So I don't know where that here it is. Oh, <laughs> hey, I was like, I always run my hands through my hair when I'm concentrating. So yeah, if you. I don't know if you saw Sunday's live, Caroline, where I actually made quite a few of these and 
and but didn't get them made into cards. We just did a bit of crafting. So um, today I've managed to get them finished. So it's not another work in progress lying around in here. Oh, he's, have you been watching or have you just come in? Anyway, thanks everyone who's been supporting me and who has come in to watch. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Try and keep well, keep out of trouble and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Where's the door?